Welcome to the CC at the Open. I'm Brooke Suman, Head of Company Services based in Calgary. Joining us today also from Calgary is Fotis Kalantzis, President and CEO at Spartan Delta Corp. Fotis, welcome. Pleasure to have you here today. Nice to see you, Burke. Thanks for inviting me. Can you start by telling our audience about Spartan Delta? Yes. Spartan Delta is a brand new company. And uh, the Spartan business strategy is to build the leading mid-cap global upstream company through targeted consolidation of top tier plays in this, in this depressed uh, environment. We believe that there is a need for cons consolidation both domestically and internationally. Our goal is to be north of 100,000 barrels a day within the next 24 months. Uh, the team's track record of play consolidation and cost uh, rationalization will be utilized, but this time on a larger scale than the previous Spartan entities. But the same governing principles will apply. We'll seek uh, quality assets that can be restructured, optimized, rebranded, either financially and or operationally, to yield uh, lower payout ratios and generate generate material free cash flow in this environment even for growth through acquisitions or enhan enhanced uh, dividends. It is clear, given the lack of financing financings in the past uh, uh, several years, that the business model required to attract capital has changed, and that those investors that they still manage discretionary capital are no longer willing to invest down the cap curve. Consolidation is the only answer, and this current market uh, has provided an important catalyst. Spartan has socialized our business plan with uh, a number of institutional investors in Canada, USA, in the UK, and they not only agree with the plan, but have expressed support for this team to go and execute on it. This support was backed last month when uh, due to a surge of incremental demand, we upsized our original 20 million private placement to $64 million private placement. Despite uh, the many challenges that the market currently presents, it's, it also creates unbelievable, unbelievable opportunities and Spartan is now uniquely positioned with its profitable and sustainable operating base and best-in-class balance sheet to take advantage of these opportunities. Now, you touched on the team's track record. I know, being a Calgarian, um, the track record in the city is very well known and is very well known in the energy industry. Can you build this franchise and the growth and monetization of the three previous companies this team managed? Yes. The team has been around for about 12 years. As a matter of fact, we started in 2008 when oil went all the way to 150 plus dollars and then it dropped in the beginning of 2009 to $30. So it was in many ways similar times, maybe not to this extremity, but it was similar times. And we started Spartan Exploration, which uh, we grew it uh, as a private company. Then we took it public in 2010 and from uh, 400 barrels a day when we went public to 20 uh, to 2011 we sold it to Penn West at 2500 barrels a day in 17 months and we outperformed the TSX energy index at that time by 90% on that deal then in uh, then right away we started uh, the second Spartan Spartan oil same team and uh, we built it to over 5,000 barrels a day in 18 months, and we sold it in 2013 to Bonterra Energy for $480 million. And then uh, we continue and started uh, number three, Spartan, Spartan Energy. And uh, Spartan Energy in about four years 
completed the 11 transactions, both assets and corporates. And at the end, we built uh, to over 23,000 barrels a day, and we sold to Vermillion for $1.4 billion in 2018, just before, about two months before the market collapsed. So yes, so we've, so this one it will be the number four Spartan uh, company. And that's why also Spartan Delta. Right. I look forward to seeing that growth. Um, so you touched a bit on the upsize private placement. In April, you announced the acquisition of all of Bellatrix's assets. Um, can you speak to your plans on optimizing these new assets? Yes, Berk. The Bellatrix assets acquired represent one of the most attractive consolidated portfolio of the deep basin drilling inventory in West Central Alberta. A part of the basin where our team already built two Spartan companies, so we know the area very well. The asset base was always burdened by too much debt. It was cleaned through the WCAA process and the Spartan transaction. What was left was over 25,000 barrels of free cash flow engine with more than 10 years of extremely economic inventory at today's commodity prices. I probably don't need to stress that it's something tough to find anywhere else in the basin right now. On top of this, the 64 million of new equity that we just closed, combined with the 25 million we raised in December, it means that we'll hardly need to draw down on our $100 million of credit facility, and we could very well be completely debt-free by the end of the year or within the next 12 months. The last piece of the, this puzzle is applying the Spartan cost model to these assets. We're very well known as one of the most efficient and low cost operators in Canada and see numerous opportunities to improve the way these assets are run. Our goal in the end is to deliver shareholders an operating vehicle with uh, no skeletons in the closet, a clean operating platform with no burdensome legacy contracts and one of the cleanest balance sheets in North America upstream universe. We think we think we have done, we've done that and we'll continue to view our balance sheet as an asset. We will continue to exercise prudence as we continue to grow through acquisitions. Well, this one thing that caught my interest about the new Spartan that might be different from the other Spartans was um, you say that you potentially might look at other geographies. Can you elaborate a bit on this? Yes, we are planning to diversify our, our portfolio in different geographies to mitigate commodity, egress, and geopolitical risks. This, uh, there, there are definitely some very attractive international assets out there, uh, including in the USA, that they have been completely abandoned by the large dependents and or capital markets in general. We will pick the right international jurisdiction when the timing is right, but in the short term, we are not looking too far from home unless it is, uh, unless it is a deal that we cannot afford to pass up. Right, makes sense. Fotis, I want to thank you for being with us today. Uh, I'm very excited for you. I think it's great timing and I look forward to the uh, growth of the fourth Spartan franchise. Thanks for being with us. Thank you, Berk. Thanks for inviting me.